recently I had the opportunity to work with WV Mint. I usually would just co-wash it, but because the red is in there, I just want to make sure we get it all out, so I am going to be using shampoo. So first I'm just going to be filling this sink up with water just so that it can kind of sit in there and soak out that color. And if the water is not going to be hot, you just want it to be like room temperature to cool. No hot water here. Hot water is going to make your hair get tangly and matted up. Once majority of the red has been rinsed out, I'm going to focus on the inside of my unit, the cap. I'm going to put my shampoo on there and I'm going to gently massage the shampoo in until it lathers. Gently. It's all about being gentle so that you can preserve the hair and that you can preserve the closure as well. And then with the closure, I like to wash that separately. So I just kind of pat from underneath until it starts to lather. So you gently pat and then gently squeeze. Gently squeeze just to create a light lather before rinsing it all out. Then I take the shampoo that basically falls onto the hair from washing the cap and kind of run it through the ends. Then I rinse that all out. You can repeat depending on how dirty your cap is. <laughs> So as you can see, there's still a lot of red in the actual hair of the unit. So we're going to flip the unit back around and focus on shampooing the hair. When shampooing, it's so important to go in the direction of the cuticle layer as well as detangle at the same time. So it's like you're working up a lather by detangling the hair and working down the hair shaft at the same time. I typically do not wash this unit with shampoo 90% of the time I co-wash it but in this case because there was you know the red hairspray in there I needed to wash it with shampoo just so that it could really get all that red out. Now it's time to rinse off remember in your cool water. Cool water! Oh, it's so important. Okay, so now that I've really focused on washing the whole body of it and like the inside of the closure, I like to really take my time and wash the outside of the closure with a little shampoo. You see, I'm just kind of going through and working my fingers and detangling at the same time as I'm lathering. Then I rinse that out with cool water and it's time to condition the entire unit. So as I mentioned before, I typically co-wash this hair. I love using the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner as my co-wash. And even though I've shampooed it already, just to get rid of the red, I'm still gonna go in and co-wash the hair with the Tea Tree Tingle and cut. Tea Tree Tingle? Yes, I said that, right? <laughs> and finger detangle it a bit before I actually apply my conditioner that I'm gonna use to comb out the hair. This is in fast motion, so don't be fooled. It looks like I'm going super fast and rough, but I'm not. <laughs> So <laughs> be gentle. <laughs> and now it's time to rinse that out. And again, I like to take my time with the closure and just kind of work my fingers through it and let the water rinse out gently. And now I'm going to use my Nywele Repair Conditioner with Argan Oil that I absolutely love. Okay, so I'm just going to put a bit of this all over the hair and then I'm going to take it and put it on a mannequin head so that I can comb it through properly. I take these wig T-pins and I insert them into the cap, not the closure, and that's just going to help secure the mannequin, uh, I mean secure the unit on the mannequin's head so that whenever I'm, you know, putting that tension in, she's not going to fly off. Alrighty, so I section the hair starting from the bottom. I take some conditioner and I apply it on that section. And then I go and I finger detangle um, any little knots that I might see. And then I take my Denman brush and I comb from the bottom upwards. And then I basically just do this all the way up throughout the unit. And I only do this when I wash it. After that, I don't do it again. <laughs> no, but seriously. Honestly, I comb it out only when I wash it and then it just looks good for so long and doesn't get crazy and matted. So it's like, why would I bother combing it out unless I had to? Oh, lazy hair. Okay. 
After this, I rinse it out. I towel dry it. Microfiber is the best if you have it. If not, use a t-shirt, paper towel. You just want to lock in the moisture and be super gentle when you're just taking out that excess water to let the rest air dry or diffuse. The excess moisture is gone. I'm just spraying in some leave-in conditioner. This one is by Revlon. It's called Equave. I've talked about it a million times. Super lightweight, never greasy. Now your homegirl is ready to cook overnight. Just let her dry right there naturally with the air. If you're in a rush, then you can like diffuse her that same day or dry out the cap with your blow dryer. It's up to you. Well ladies, that is all for today. I really hope that this video helped you on how you can wash your units, you know, whether they're straight or curly or short or long, but especially the curly ones because I think some people are intimidated when it comes to washing the curly hair, but Yes, comment below. Let me know if you have any other questions. Let me know if this helped you. And let